Yo, what is up guys, it's Rich here, bringing you guys a basic intro making slash uh, keyframing tutorial in Cinema 4D. Uh, it's basically something I'm probably going to be starting to do, uh, like some kind of intro making type of effects uh, tutorials and just all that good stuff. Because I don't know what I'm going to do officially for my, um, what you would call it, the uh, new intro, I mean new intro, new out, uh, fucking out, the new template or new, god damn what's the freaking word. The new style for YouTube, what is it called? The new layout, there we go, Jesus. Ugh, it was like on the tip of my tongue. So uh, yeah, so this is probably what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know yet, I know the banner, I know I have the uh, PSD for the uh, banner now, the official one, and it's like super small, you really can't even do anything, so yeah, I, I don't know. So uh, we'll find out if I'm gonna be doing those, maybe I'll do one just to see how it feels or it looks like. So uh, yeah, today, yeah, basic intro making, slash keyframing. So we're gonna be doing something like this. I made a quick one right here. You can see me coming flying in. View. Pretty cool, pretty simple. And uh, you can obviously, if you're a Prodigy editor and you have After Effects and you know how to work around with After Effects, you can make this look ten times better and just amazingness. And uh, you can also put some, uh, put together like some of my uh, effects, like the chain tutorial or whatever, and just have them like flow around or some crap. If you want to go hard and you know, waste render time, <laughs> yeah. So, all right, we're gonna get started. So, uh, you're gonna need a camera, which is in the lights. So, you're gonna go to light camera. This is if your uh, if your Lightroom already has a camera, then it's whatever. But if it doesn't, you want to have a camera. You want to click on the white, and you want to keep it there for now. And I'll make sure I tell you when to turn it to black or whatever. So, uh, yeah. All right, when you have your camera, you want to go all the way to the first frame and click on this just for now and we're gonna probably fix that after we put the text in mo text tutorial tutor tutor that's what we're gonna name it the font we're gonna be using is snub fighter where's where's boom all right snub fighter boss ass freaking font i'm not talking loud enough am i i know all right we're gonna put the caps on we're just doing the basics real quick or the super basics real quick and uh, I'm um, gonna be ready to start soon alright so now when you have everything set in the middle and everything then you go to your camera go to the first or the zero frame or your zeroth frame I don't know that makes no sense at all I don't even know why it went there but uh, yeah, I wanna go to your the first frame or zero press it and then just leave it so and then you wanna go to mo text you wanna press C on it so then when you have your uh, you can just have them all in one letter thing uh, the word or name that you use in the text, you can just have them all in one, except for doing excessive mo text and putting each letter in, which is work. I don't like to do work, so I help you out there. You're welcome. All right, so now you want to click on all of them. So you want to uh, click on the T or whatever first letter to so your last letter. You want to shift click all the way on all of them. You want to go to the last frame. Actually, you want to go to about a hundred, a hundred frames. So probably you're at ninety frames right now. You're probably like, what the hell? Uh, you want to just switch this to one thirty and take this arrow. My sister's like screaming if you heard that, I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, you want to go ahead and just drag the arrow to the right, and then it brings your timeline out longer. So yeah, we're ready to start. So uh, yeah, you know, like I told you, put it at 100. Make sure you have these all selected, and then press keyframe, and it's a little key right here. So now that's how the text knows that this is where it's going to end at. And uh, this is when we do work on this side. So we're going to bring it all the way to zero. We're going to click on the T. We're going to go on, click on the camera box, so it's going to be black now. We're gonna zoom out a little bit, and then we're just gonna drag the T and all the other letters out of the frame or out of the shot. So uh, we're out of the uh, camera view, which is like the light and gray. So when I zoom in, you won't be able to see those letters. You know what I mean? Because we're gonna do a basic fly-in tutorial or a fly-in tutorial, fly-in intro. So yeah, there we go. And now we click on all of them again. So we click on the T to the R or whatever letters you're working with, and we're gonna go back to zero and then keyframe. So now, if I go to camera, go back to the white box, and I go ahead and just go like this, you can see that they basically just fly into each other, just like so. Pretty simple. Now we're going to do a little something different. We're going to be uh, bringing this to about 66 frames is basically where uh, most of the letters are going to be shown. So now I'm going to zoom back out of this, and now I'm going to go ahead and click on all the letters and just rotate them in any weird form. It does not matter what type of way you rotate at all so yep just like so the more random it is the more better I guess and uh, boom boom just like that 
and I actually forgot to click on the keyframe on all of them. So if, when you turn them, make sure you keyframe them. It's like the main thing. Keyframe, rotate, keyframe. If you don't know how I'm rotating, I'm using this tool right here. Sorry, I just moved the mic. Uh, yeah, I'm using this tool right here, just rotating, just like so. So we're getting on each letter, you already know. Boom. And last one is O. I'll just do it there. Boom. There we go. So now they're all keyframed. So now when I go ahead and go back to the uh, white camera or white boxed camera, you can see the letters sort of do a little motion or twirl and stuff before they come in. Pretty sick, don't you know? Pretty basic, but pretty cool. You can make it look as cool as possible by uh, doing a little bit of something else, which is the camera movement, I guess, where you can have your letters or whatever be moved around like so and whatnot. So uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys how to do that. So now you want to go back to your camera, or actually you want to go to the end frame, which is uh, 100 frames right now, and then you want to go click on the uh, letters, all the letters, so you can move them in the right uh, you know way, and you want to go click on this box right here. Uh, the one that doesn't have a triangle, the uh, like 90 degree angle that doesn't have a triangle. And uh, yeah, that's for all the smart kids who paid attention in third grade. So uh, yeah, you want to just move that to the middle, just like so. That's what you do with this one. And then you want to push it, uh, pull it back to push it. <laughs> you want to press the uh, top one again. So when you rotate it, it'll rotate on the right axis and not rotate on this side. So now you want to click on this, the, uh, the group or whatever. You want to go ahead and go to about maybe 60 frames. Click on the tutorial or the uh, group one. You just want to rotate it, click back on the camera, and keyframe it. So now, what happens, it rotates as the letters are coming in, just like so. You can go ahead and click back on the group, rotate it again, make it do a little bit more work. You can just click it again. You can go uh, about 10 frames up or 20 frames up, or I'll say about, yeah, 10 frames or so. So about 10 frames. I went. So now I'm going to go ahead and play it again. As you can see, boom, rotating, rotating. And now for the last one at 100 frames, I'm going to click on the group again. And then I'm going to put it right in the middle. Boom. Oh crap, I forgot to click on the camera again. Click back over here. Drag it right in the middle. Click back on the camera and keyframe. So now we have this super sexy, awesome twirly visionness going on. So now let's see, see nothing. Now you start seeing the letters flying into each other. Boom and boom. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. Like I said, if you want to throw it into After Effects or Sony Vegas, put some effects in it, go look those tutorials up and stuff. It'll be pretty nice to uh, pretty nice entry. You don't have to pay for and stuff. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If this helped you out, a little bit of basic keyframing, a little bit of help making your own intro. Thank you're welcome. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, see you later. So switch you out. Peace. Oh yeah, by the way, my uh, what you call it? My 500 sub GFX contest ends today. So if you did not enter that, go do it now. You got 24 hours. Peace.